Universe Online. Now free to play your way. Download it at DCUniverseOnline.com. Sony. Well, hello, and welcome to uh, our latest edition of the uh, DC Universe Online uh, webcast. Uh, have here tonight, uh, as always, Jens Anderson, creative hello. director for DC Universe Online, and Kyle Hill, design director for DC Universe Online. How's it going? I'm Lauren Jameson, I'm uh, executive producer for, uh, for DC. Um, obviously, the big news this week, and uh, for the last uh, seven days, has been our, our free-to-play launch. Uh, we, we managed to uh, come live Tuesday night, uh, and it has been an interesting, interesting seven days. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, we wanted to address that. Um, so I wanted to start off here with, uh, with uh, an announcement. Uh, uh, in the uh, first seven days uh, since going free to play, we have registered over one million uh, new uh, DC Universe <laughs> online customers. Uh, that's a really Excellent. big number, and uh, we were pleasantly and horrifically surprised <laughs> by that number. Uh, we have uh, that number crept up uh, during the first uh, 24, 36 hours, uh, watching uh, our concurrence grow by a thousand percent. The players uh, enthusiastically downloading the game uh, and and coming into play. Um, it was not uh, as smooth as we would have liked. Uh, the first uh, few days, and uh, we know that the, there was there was technical problems. Uh, we were here addressing those technical problems uh, around the clock for for days. Um, you know, there are more people wanting to play than we could get into our servers, uh, and uh, the queues got pretty long. Uh, and uh, you know, I wanted to start off by saying, uh, first off, wow, thanks, uh, glad you're so uh, there's so many people interested in playing the game, uh, and. Quite frankly, uh, sorry, uh, sorry for for the issues uh, the first few days. Uh, uh, success is a, is a wonderful thing, uh, and and with that success of the sh uh, sheer number of players that came in so quickly, uh, without uh, uh, with really just a live stream, one run. million yeah, one players, million, uh, <laughs> with, with with not much more uh, mm -hmm. in the way of uh, uh, announcements besides a press release and a live stream broadcast, uh, we weren't expecting that many, and uh, so we were caught off guard. Um, but uh, I wanted to assure you that uh, it, uh, for the last week, we have been frantically increasing our network capacity, uh, expanding uh, our uh, capabilities uh, in our US and uh, in European data centers. Uh, we have already uh, greatly increased our, our network uh, bandwidth uh, uh, out of the United States. Uh, we're adding machines. We added machines in Europe. Uh, we've added machines. In the United States, we have new machines on the way, uh, and uh, we're doing everything we can to make sure that uh, that your experience is as good as possible. I, I think over the last uh, 24 to 36 hours, we've 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 gotten better. Uh, I'm not satisfied where we're at yet, uh, but we are going to continue to make it a, a better experience. But I, I, I did want to explain that uh, that we were you know people who said, "Well, you were caught by surprise." You're absolutely right. Uh, this, these numbers uh, for this amount of people for this for, amount of people sure. this fast uh, this was really uh, amazing and uh, uh, we've been working really hard uh, to make it better uh, and uh, I think the last uh, last couple of days we're really getting uh, to a point where um, we're handling more people uh, we're handling you better uh, I know in Europe still there is uh, there's still some lag uh, because of the uh, limitations of our of our of our uh, internet uh, uh, out bandwidth there we are increasing that now um, and so hopefully soon uh, we'll be able to to, to handle uh, more people better in Europe as well uh, so uh, it's really been uh, really been uh, quite a quite a week uh, we really do uh, appreciate uh, all the players uh, we understand um, you know the you know the frustration of, of getting in line um, we added uh, Features that we hope will help alleviate that. Uh, I know a lot of uh, legendary players uh, 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 were upset about not having uh, the priority queuing in right away. Uh, we didn't think we were going to need it day one. Uh, we did, uh, and we rushed really hard to get it out there. Uh, so now, and our, it, it our, is in there now. now. It's there. It's now. in there now, uh, and uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, your, our, our loyal uh, uh, members and uh, uh, premium players are, are seeing um, uh, faster queues. 
uh, we're trying to make it faster queues for everyone. But uh, uh, in, in, I, in, in fact, I would say that a lot of you that have tried it out over the last few days, if you've been waiting to get back in there and for things to settle down and get more stable, uh, go back in. Definitely. Head back in there. The experience is, is much better now. Uh, you know, I've been playing on the PC quite a bit and uh, really haven't had many issues myself over the last few days. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, get in and check it out again because it's, it's much more stable now. And, and keep letting us know where, where, uh, where the problems are. We watch the, uh, the forums uh, and Facebook. Diligently. <laughs> diligently to try to identify. Uh, we have our, our QA is in there constantly trying to identify when we have issues crop up. Uh, you know, the network team, the network engineering team, the, 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 the hardware team. Uh, we're always there uh, to make sure that uh, everything is running as smoothly as we can, uh, and and I think uh, I think we're 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 we're, we're climbing up the hill. Uh, we're glad you're all here. Uh, we think you're going to enjoy your stay. This is this has been really great. So, uh, you know, welcome to free to play. Uh, you know, it, there's 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 more to come. Keep playing. Uh, uh, you know, we will uh, you know we will we will be expanding. Uh, uh, our capabilities as soon as possible to make sure that everyone has a chance uh, to enjoy uh, DC Universe Online anytime they want to. Um, moving forward, uh, you know, we, we you know we've got uh, you know we're we're we've uh, you know kind of been really focusing on on stability and 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 making sure the live service is in good shape. Um, we've we've been uh, holding back uh, Game Update Six until we were there. Um, we're not quite there yet, but, but next week we feel we're, we're going to be in good shape. And so wanted to announce that uh, next week we will be uh, launching uh, Game Update 6. Um, and uh, uh, why don't you, Jens, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going to be in there? Sure. There's a lot of new changes in Game Update 6, uh, a lot of additions as well. Um, one of the big things uh, for all you raiders out there that have been enjoying the Fortress Raid series, there's going to be a new Fortress Raid, obviously Fortress of Solitude. Three. Uh, this is sort of the conclusion of the Fortress Raids, and you're going to get to take on uh, General Zod, Ursa, and Nan as they try and take over the Fortress from uh, Superman and Lex. So that mm -hmm. ought to be really cool. Um, we're going to give you a little pro tip on that in a little while, but <laughs> hang tight. Uh, what else do we have going in there? We have combat rating, right? You want to talk about rating. that? The combat rating is going to be coming in. It's something that's kind of been behind the scenes the whole time. Um, but we're going to kind of expose it to you guys. Uh, it'll be showing up on both the matchmaking uh, page so that you can kind of see what you're really able to do. You know, I know I've gotten in raids in the back cave where a guy pops in there and he's in greens and blues and just he gets face rolled because he really shouldn't be there. So that'll help you determine uh, what you should be able to do. Um, something that's coming along with that is changes to the dominance stat. Uh, it's, yeah, really it's been there in the past. It's just been kind of a gate on whether you can control or juggle uh, NPCs in the different raids. Uh, now for uh, both tanks and controllers, it has some added benefit. Uh, the more dominance you have, for example, on a fire tank, uh, is going to increase the amount of healing uh, both that your abilities do and the amount of health that they grant you when you've used them. Um, controllers will get the similar thing where uh, the amount of power they give back will be increased by dominance as well as uh, some other benefits. So what about ice tanks, good. Kyle? Why are you forgetting ice tanks? I play an ice tank. Why would I forget one? <laughs> I'm sure now that'll be great. I know now. Yeah, we both play ice tanks. So let the I don't play ice tanks. Flames hey, begin. Yeah. Uh, there's <laughs> another change coming that uh, actually really affects ice tanks. Absolutely. He is excited about. So Absolutely. I'll let him tell you. Yeah. So uh, we had to cap defense a while ago. Uh, the reason we had to do that is because basically defense was not scaling the way it should have with our tiers, and ice tanks uh, and fire tanks basically were just becoming pretty much invulnerable. Um, so we had to cap defense, and a lot of people have been asking me, especially uh, Tolandar, if you're out there, I'm going to answer your question now. So we've removed the defense cap, and we, we did that because we've been waiting for a new feature called armor penetration. So some of the higher tier mobs will actually have this new uh, uh, um, stack called armor penetration, so we can now raise the defense cap back up and uh, get this new feature in there so that raid bosses and high tier bosses or high tier mobs can actually do stuff to the tanks that scale appropriately with their difficulty. The tier 3 armor is getting its defense boosted um, now that we don't have the cap. So you should see changes to any of the tier 3 armor that you already have where the defense is now higher. So to be clear, def cap. Uh, this also ah. affects PvP in the terms of weapons. You get uh, all of the higher tier PvP weapons will get an armor penetration stat of their own to defeat an opponent's toughness. There so you go. It'll be easier to kill them from now on. Not now, that it was hard. Now was that wonky or not? I, I, <laughs> I had to, you, know, you have to say that's a lot of information. Uh, this is this is all great. Uh, you know the uh, you know 
game update six has a lot of things. Um, it is kind of aimed towards uh, higher level players, uh, mm -hmm. you know, because of the finishing off the, the Fortress Raid series. Um, but uh, I, I, we did, did want to, uh, you know, assure you that future updates, uh, you know, they will be there will be a mix between the content for high level players uh, and a, a lot of the uh, a lot of the newer players that are coming in that are trying to get to those levels. Not there yet, but we always want to make sure. Uh, that we're adding stuff at all levels of the game. So and uh, actually, in all spaces in the game now, we've been very instance heavy. Uh, you know, the raids do continue uh, that trend, mm -hmm. but uh, in in future updates, we also want to assure you that you're going to be seeing some more open world content as well as we make improvements to Gotham and Metropolis. You know, that was really the the, the funnest thing about the the, the free to play launch because we. We, we, you know, the you know, we we did have a lot of really uh, running around hair on fire. Not the funnest thing. <coughs> no. No, that part <laughs> that part was not fun. Okay. Do not want to think about it. Okay. But uh, playing the game, uh -huh. uh, and you know, you know, you have to step back. Even though this has been, uh, uh, you know, very busy, uh, a yep. lot of work the the last week, uh, getting into the game with the excitement of of all those new players again. Uh, that was really exciting. Oh, hanging new players, <laughs> PvP targets. Oh, so good. Walk, yeah. Walk yeah. Oh yeah. Friend. Here's a pro tip. <laughs> Actually, I want to do my pro tips now. Do your blood. Right, so tip. I'm gonna do my pro tips really quick before we run out of time. So I want to do a pro tip for FOS for advanced players, 30s guys who are up there. First of all, healers. The 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 sorry, not healers, but the Kryptonian medics. They are a brutal part of the fight. You need to learn their mechanics. I'm not going to tell you what they are. They have a few of them, but they're raid wipers. So make sure you pay attention to what those medics are doing or, or you're done. All right, now for new people, okay? <laughs> new folks, I got a couple of things I want to tell you. Number one, block in PvP, okay? If you see this big red burst appear when you hit somebody, it's because they're blocking. So learn that, learn how to block and understand how blocking works in PvP. So and how do you go block on farther. the PC and how do you block on the PS3? So on a, a PS3, your block is gonna be one of your bumper buttons and on the PC, it's gonna be the shift key, okay? So you're gonna need to hold that down. In certain combo finishers, you're gonna be able to counter and block. And likewise, if somebody's turtling and blocking, you have ways to interrupt that. So really read your abilities in your, on your weapons and understand how those work, because they're really going to help you in PvP. Every weapon tree has a block breaker, and you definitely want to take that if you're doing PvP. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just going to die over and over again. So Absolutely. what does someone look like when they're blocking? No! Oh, okay, yes. There All right, go. so yes. So if you see someone doing that, if you're doing that, you're blocking, right? You know, so you want to do that. Every once in a while, you want to go, man, and you just block away, you know? And if you see them doing that, yeah, then you, you want know, to kick them in the face. Right, and you know, probably this week, you know, probably Interrupt the next few the days, we'll just see people standing here like this, you know, <laughs> no, no, like, blocking, I'm blocking you, I'm blocking you. Uh, uh, the other thing I would say to you is, as you're walking around the world, don't ignore those purple beacons. Do your races, find the collections, yeah. um, you know, really uh, try and uh, do the things that are at your level so you're advancing properly and, and getting as much as you can and don't skip your vault. Do your vault every yeah. day. You skip it. I yelled at you earlier about that. Yeah. Every uh, day you can go into the vault if you're legendary every... Three days for premium. Three days for premium. And, uh, free players you get once a week. Once so. a week. So there's always cool stuff in the vault. Uh, go do that. You can, you can get extra tickets in the marketplace, uh, but it's a fun thing to do. Um, do the races, get the feet points, they're going to be important to you later on. There's a lot in this game um, besides just sort of like, especially if you're if you're doing the, the brand new content, you know, you tend to get focused on, oh, I'm, I'm doing the, the gorillas and now I'm doing mm -hmm. broad and stuff like or that. Or even you just want to be like, I got to keep going. Keep going, Don't have yeah. time for this. Take your time. Take Do that your, side yeah. stuff. That's why it's there. Um, um, it's really important too for, for later in the game. Oh, I did remember one more pro tip. New players, when you go to a new powder keg, we call them, right? You go to a new area in a quest. Look around the area for an exclamation point, a little purple beacon as well. Side quests, they're called. Be sure you look around and pick those up before you start getting into the powder keg, because uh, they really do help you out and get you progressing a little faster. One correction, it's a white beacon. Uh, the white beacon, purple there you ones go. Of the race. Though. Which then turns white when you finish the race. Escrow. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, you know, so uh, for, for, for those players who are not at the, the legendary access level, uh, you'll notice is as you earn money, uh, and uh, you know if you're at a pre uh, free player, uh, once you hit 1,500, you'll notice your money starts going into a, a, a different uh, uh, account. slot account on your on your character stats uh, called escrow, uh, and that is money that's there. Uh, it's it your money that you've earned. earned. You've earned that money um, uh, because of the you know the, the the way to access that money. If you if there is a need, uh, if you have a need for an infusion of cash. 
Um, you can always uh, you go to Marketplace, buy a uh, escrow boost, mm -hmm. and that will take that will allow you to take money out of your escrow uh, if you need it in game. Uh, uh, but remember, it doesn't you know you have to have that much money in your account. So if you have if you buy a twenty five thousand uh, uh, cash escrow, uh, you have to have twenty five thousand cash. You only get as much. As right. So as if you have, have eighteen thousand in your escrow and you buy a twenty, uh, the the uh, twenty five thousand or twenty thousand, whatever, uh, it'll only pull out eighteen. Yeah. That's all you'll get because that's all you had in there. So you yeah. might want to buy the ten thousand. Right. But that escrow that will eight. always be there. If you're a legendary player, it's one of the benefits of being legendary is no is escrow. There is no escrow. All your cash is always available to you uh, in game. Uh, that's one of the things. You know, actually, we, we, we've we've uh, we've had that question a lot because we just launched this model and uh, you know. You know, we have the grid on, on, uh, on DCUniverseOnline.com uh, that shows you what all of the various uh, access levels and the, and the legendary membership do for you. Um, but, uh, you know, you think of legendary as sort of like, I'm the guy that, uh, that I, I, I want convenience. Every time I play, I want to have access to everything. First I want in to line. Have first in line. Mm -hmm. I, want to, I, don't, I don't want to queue. I want maximum benefits. Uh, I just don't want to feel like I'm, I'm bumping into to any walls or limitations. That's what Legendary gives for you. It's, it's a great value because it's a one-time cost every month. You don't have to, to worry about, do I need to buy an escrow booth, boost, things like that. You get access to every uh, DLC that we release uh, uh, as, as part of your, your membership, so you don't have to go and buy that uh, on day one. It's, it's there the moment you log in. Uh, so there's a lot of benefits there. Um, that's the, the kind of the whole point of the new model is uh, different players have different ways they want to, to play the game, and, and with DC, we're trying to allow you to, to play your way. You know, you you you, yeah. you do it what you do what you, uh, you 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 get the value you want. It's like the guys. So sometimes when we're talking to people and we're saying, well, you know, go premium, or you know, you yeah. can play free or whatever you want, people are like, oh, did you just say don't play our game? No, yeah. we're not saying that at all. The whole point of this model is so that you can play your way. We're yeah. giving you a lot of. We want you to play our game, and if you like it, we know that you're going to find things that. You you're going to want to purchase so that you're going to want to uh, become a member for and be legendary. So, you know, we have confidence. We let people in that, uh, you know, they're going to stick around. They're going to want to be legendary and become members. So, so okay. you yeah, want me to do it? No, you go ahead. All right. So to be to be premium, everybody who downloads the game for free will start to play and they will be free to play. They have a certain level of access. The second you spend five dollars in this game right mm -hmm. yep. uh, on the marketplace uh, you are premium and premium automatically or, or DLC from the web you know, that counts as well oh yeah sorry uh, five dollars on anything it, it, it can be more than five too so if you buy a DLC for ten you're premium if you buy you know something that's worth five bucks you're premium if you buy five one dollar things you're premium and premium gives you a certain level of access there is no backsliding down to free anymore mm -hmm. you're premium forever at that point and how and, and that lasts for how long that lasts forever for how long forever <laughs> God for or life. Yes. Um, now, if you want to go up to legendary and become a member, you know you pay us fifteen dollars a month, and you're going to be at that access. No restrictions. All the free content coming down. You're good to go. Um, you can go back and forth between legendary and premium all you want. Yeah. In fact, p paying for a legendary membership gets you what? Premium, right? Premium, yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> so once you do that one time, you're actually premium. So you know you get to choose how you want to kind of go from that free to play to premium. You know, cross that threshold, and then where you want to go from there, where you want to live. We allow you to you yeah. know, keep playing and. Still multi -month membership sure. That yeah, I mean. Oh yeah. They're, they're, the right. So I mean, and if you if you want to do three months, that's cheaper. If you want to do twelve months, that's even more cheaper. There's there's many ways to play. I mean, uh, the analogy for me is like. You know, it used to be that uh, you'd, you uh, move movies. You'd go to a movie theater. There was just one way. You know, you bought a ticket, you watched a movie. That right. was it. Uh, you know, uh, nowadays, you know, it could be your favorite movie. You might wait for it to come out on TV, or on day one, you might buy the collector's edition with all. You know, it, it, everyone likes the movie. You're, you know, it's the product is. You know, differences or, or you know, there might be commercials or whatever. You basically uh, you play your way. Yeah. And, and and that's the big message there. So um, we're we're pretty happy about that. Uh, did we? What's that? We got one time more for question? one more question. Uh, what? Well, give us a good one then. Give us a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I love answering questions. Is there a question? Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to do this. Though. I have two questions. We're going to do it really quick. They'll be fast. First, I was. 
Yeah, is this is from Facebook. I was wondering if it had been considered adding a way to save costume style settings for quick changes between sets without having to choose each individual style piece. The answer is yes. There is a way. We plan on adding a way. It's going to be hooked into a system we're adding in the future, and we can't wait to tell you about that, but I'm not going to do it now because I'm a jerk. It, it, That's we're right. also thinking about not just for styles, but also for actual gear swaps, yeah, right? So if totally. you're a tank and, and DPS, you have both sets. It's somewhat of a pain to switch all the pieces out. So you just be able to do a hot swap of that gear. Totally. All right, now here's the last question we'll have time to answer. It'll be a quick one. If you developers had any choice of superpowers, what would they be? And would you use them for good or for dastardly deeds? Kyle, you're the newcomer. You go first. You're in um, the hot seat. Probably invisibility. <laughs> That would be a good one over the last week. Oh, man. Invisible <laughs> sounds sure good. I'd be evil. You'd be evil? Yeah. Or what about you? I, I don't know for sure, but every time I play a video game and they have like the moral dilemma system, I'm always good. I just can't uh -huh. be evil. I think I might do it, though. All right. What about you? As appealing as invisibility would be at various points in time, uh, I think uh, being able to travel in time would be my superpower. All right. Because I would go to a year from now. And, and, and I'd be uh, watching DC Universe be the <laughs> most successful game of all time. I could just skip past all the hard work that it's going to take us to get there. Uh, and would you and be just, at a bar when you were? I would be at a bar, <laughs> you know, hopefully, with a big bowl of peanuts in front of me and a... Well, for me, Champagne I bet a lot cocktail. of people will think I would answer in a particular way, that I wouldn't be able to talk to fish and breathe underwater and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's just not the case. So, so you would be uh, the lamest superhero ever? <laughs> Why do you have to go there? All right, so, oh, man, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to send this to Jeff Johns just okay, so he no, can you know, have a call for you. Um, but, no, I'd probably choose super speed. I actually think super speed is the most useful power, superpower there is, because you, know, you can kind of go anywhere you need to be and dodge bullets and somebody calls you downtown and they're in trouble, you can be there like that. So I would go with super speed. Okay, there you go. then. All right, well, this, is, uh, this has been uh, our latest uh, edition of the DCUO webcast. Uh, we're looking forward to, to seeing you in-game and seeing you next time. Thanks, and uh, have a good night. See you all later. Thanks, guys.